In the small, sleepy town of Oak Ridge, nestled among rolling hills and towering oak trees, lived a man named Samuel Reynolds. Samuel was a simple man, content with his modest home, a loving wife named Eliza, and their two children. However, an insidious seed of greed had been planted in Samuel's heart, and it grew day by day until it consumed his every thought. Samuel's life changed one fateful day when he stumbled upon a shiny golden nugget while digging in his backyard garden. The nugget was unlike anything he had ever seen before, and he knew it was valuable. Samuel's eyes glinted with the possibility of wealth beyond his wildest dreams. He secretly stashed the nugget in a hidden compartment in his workshop, away from Eliza's prying eyes. As the weeks passed, Samuel's obsession with the nugget deepened. He spent hours every night researching the value of gold and the local mines. His obsession became apparent to Eliza, who was concerned about her husband's behavior. But Samuel dismissed her worries, assuring her that their newfound wealth would secure their family's future. Samuel decided to confide in his friend and neighbor, George. He showed George the golden nugget and shared his plans to mine the land behind his property in search of more gold. George, too, was enticed by the prospect of wealth, and they formed a partnership, agreeing to split the profits evenly. They began their clandestine mining operation at night, using shovels and picks to unearth the land. Samuel's garden was soon destroyed, and the once beautiful landscape became a wasteland of dirt mounds. Eliza, concerned for her husband's well-being and the toll it was taking on their family, pleaded with him to stop. But greed had blended Samuel to everything except the promise of more riches. Word of the mysterious nugget and the secret mining operation spread throughout Oak Ridge, and soon, others joined in, seeking their own fortune. The quiet town began to change, as once tranquil neighbors became rivals, each driven by their insatiable greed. Samuel's life descended into chaos as he struggled to keep his secret operation under wraps. He grew paranoid, fearing that others would discover his hidden wealth. George, too, had become a different person, consumed by greed and ambition. Their friendship strained as the pressure mounted, and they began to argue over how to divide the profits. One night, as Samuel and George were deep in the mine, a tunnel collapsed, trapping them in six.